Hey guys, welcome back to more of the Pico CTF getting started at capture the flag and hacking cybersecurity competition stuff. So we just finished up our first challenge, our first capture the flag challenge, internet kitties in the miscellaneous category. Let's move on. There's another 10 point challenge here. Um, so I'm again, starting with some of the easy challenges, starting with the, the low hanging fruit, because that point value is probably a good indicator of difficulty of how hard it is. So if we're just getting started, let's Try some of the, the beginner-friendly stuff, right? Have questions about Pico? You can ask here. The access code is 31337, so elite. Nice. Let's take that, copy that. Um, hints, looks like there's nothing here. Okay. Um, ask here. Head over to this link. Oh, wow, geez. Looks like this is uh, Piazza. A free platform for instructors to efficiently manage class questions and answers. Oh, okay. So this looks like it's some kind of help or uh, kind of classroom looking like thing um, to let's try that access code, join classes, type it in. Oh, and then we'll, we'll need our, another email address. Okay. Let's get the, let's get that 10 minute mail again going. That's a good easy way. So we don't have to, keep using real email addresses send code cool looks like it values that i'll switch over to that tab as soon as my browser lets me thank you virtual machine all right cool and hopefully this won't take too too long for the email address to get it uh, i'll pause the video here okay looks like it got it i see this activate your account here um we have an activation code. It looks like there's a link to activate it and set our password. So a lot of stuff. Oh boy, geez. Okay, John, give it some information. Um, set a dummy password. I don't really need any of this stuff. Oh geez, guys, I don't. Computer science, anticipated completion, November 2019, whatever. This is all fake degrees, fake stuff. I've read and accept, sure. Okay, I don't care, guys. I just want a flag. <laughs> so when you get to play a capture the flag competition, a lot of times they'll give you some means of support, right? That might be a Slack channel. That may be a Discord channel. That may be a um, IRC. And any of those things will try and give you, as the player, means to ask for help. That, uh, like, either solve, like, hey, I feel like this challenge isn't working the way it is. Um, I don't know. Uh, what kind of vulnerability I'm looking for? Is, is there anything you can you can help me with, etc.? Let's see if we can find a Piazza. Will this give us? Oh, what is the flag for the Piazza file? I cannot see this on the site, and it would be nice to get points for it. Looks like this flag is submitted. Someone's responded. Please look at the pinned posts. Okay. So up on the top there, we get notifications. We have anything pinned? Yeah, pinned up top. Okay. Welcome. Looks like this one over here. Welcome to Piazza for Pico 2017. Okay, so this is an interesting platform for asking for help, having support, etc. In previous years, we also have an IRC channel where you can hang out. Cool. That works just fine. If you've never used an IRC channel before, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to copy and paste this flag, submit it just so we actually have that points complete. Awesome. Challenge solved. You're up 10 points and we can keep moving on. But I want to showcase that IRC or Internet Relay Chat. So if you've never heard of IRC before, let's check that out on Google too. Internet Relay Chat Wikipedia. It's an application layer protocol that facilitates communication in the form of text. Okay. So the things that I want you to take away from this is that it's a communication platform um, or a means of doing so. Uh, it's a protocol that is all plain text. So you, if you ever sniff uh, on the wire or anything like that, if you ever get a copy of some of this internet relay chat messages, it's all plain text. So you can search through them very, very easily, and that's going to come in handy. So if you wanted to, you could go to this web chat, and there's always going to be a web platform for um, actually integrating or interacting with IRC channels because they're all plain text protocols. It's pretty easy. More of these freaking, uh, I am not a robot things. Cool. Thanks. So once we're logged in, you have some other 
options for like forward slash join or forward slash help. It's kind of command line oriented, right? Just like we're used to typing on the keyboard, stuff like that. You can see all the users on the right hand side. Uh, and then there are any kinds of conversations you can make by say hello or just sending a message in Pico CTF. So that channel, that hashtag that you see, that hashtag Pico CTF, because it's a specific channel on Freenode or the server, Freenode is the server for this internet relay chat or this IRC channel. And that way you can ask for support and get support when you're playing a capture the flag competition. Let's leave that tab. Great. Since we've got the flag, we can move on here, but I did want to show you that because normally that's what you'll see. You'll see an IRC channel that you can interact with through web chat, like Kiwi IRC or Web IRC or those things that we you can find on Google or anywhere. But maybe it's a Slack channel, maybe it's a Discord server, stuff like that. You'll see them, and that's where you can ask for help when you're playing these capture the flag competitions. So we're learning bit by bit. Slowly but surely, again, we're still getting into the building blocks and the foundation to move in some of the elite, cool cybersecurity hacking stuff. Um, and that's honestly how we've got to do it, right? Because cybersecurity and computer science hacking is such a huge scene. It's such a big industry. We've got to learn bit by bit. So maybe exposure like this through a capture the flag competition is the right way to do it because it's got to happen somehow. So cool. We're ready to move on to the next challenge. But before we do, I got to give a shout out to my sponsors or the people that are willing to support me. Spencer Clark, Gal Horowitz, Suzuka, Attila, Orgolathian, Really Destroy World, Passion of Sarah, blah, blah, blah. They are not sponsors. That was totally the wrong word. I would love sponsors, though. If you if you want to support me, hey, send me an email. Talk to me. Leave a comment. I don't know. But thank you guys so, so much for supporting the channel, donating some of your time, donating some of your money. Um, it really, really helps the channel thrive and gives me motivation to keep making more cool things. One dollar a month will give you a shout out just like this in the video at the end of, at the end of every video. Uh, Five dollars a month or more will give you early access to the videos that I create ahead of time before I release them on YouTube. And uh, maybe that's awesome because I tend to record in bulk, in mass, and then I do a gradual release schedule on YouTube. So if you want things right away, you don't want to wait, that's the way to do it. Hey, if you did like this video, please press that like button. Maybe leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you're willing to subscribe, and if you really want to support me, check me out on Patreon. We'll jump into the next challenge in the next video.